Are you staring at me? Yeah, it's kind of creeping me out a little bit. Um, hello. So, you've got some weird eyes. You've got one big eye with a funny little pupil. And I guess, you're, oh, you're winking at me. Is that it? You're winking at me? That's, that's a little weird. I've never been flirted with by a tree like I have by this one here in my demonstration garden down in San Diego at my growing ground in San Diego. Uh, that there, my friends, is a super flirtatious tree flirting with me like most plants do. It is the Queensland bottle tree, Brachychiton acerfolius. This is such a cool tree that is so underutilized in the Bay Area. Here we are in the middle of all these droughts. We want beautiful, lush, evergreen trees that can survive anything, right? Well, here you go. This one, it doesn't get much better than this tree for those conditions. You want a super drought tolerant tree? This is the one you want. This thing's native to Australia where it gets incredibly dry. And uh, like a saguaro cactus, it makes a big fat tummy that stores all of the water in it so that uh, when, uh, when it's really dry, it can live off that, no problem. Like it's pretty much like you cannot kill this tree of drought once it's established. Like there's no amount of drought in Northern California and it has a pretty face. Um, but there's no amount of drought that'll kill this tree. You can see the leaves. They've got some drought tolerant characteristics. It's beautiful evergreen, it's shiny. So that is going to reflect the light. You can see it reflecting the light back into the sun, right? So that's one way that it, uh, it uh, is drought tolerant. And, and also, um, because the leaves are long and slender, they blow through the wind better. If they were wide and open, the wind would take them and it would push it around a lot bit more. And you'd have a lot more water loss that way. Now this is uh, probably a juvenile tree. This tree looks pretty big, right? It's probably 18 feet tall in total. And um, it's located on my driveway here. Uh, now these trees are impossible to get in the Bay Area. They just, like, no one has them. No one even knows to use them because it's kind of like monkey see, monkey do. If somebody's not doing it, the other monkeys won't follow them. And we're all monkeys. So that's the problem here. Now the good news is that I have these trees and I'm growing them specially for you uh, right here. Look, here they are. I've got 30 inch boxed trees. They've already got a nice fat little trunk on them. So when you want a tree, you let me know and I'll bring one of these up and then I'll put a baby back in its place. Probably got about seven or eight of them ready to go. So if you have a big project, uh, you know, we can plant, we can get them for you, no problem. Here's a real interesting one with a V trunk right there. That's pretty cool. But they have a beautiful texture, green texture on the bark. And like I said, it's so drought tolerant. There's no way you can hurt these plants. So let's talk a little bit more about the plant. Uh, native to Queensland, Australia, Queensland bottle tree. And uh, they, uh, it's uh, Brachychiton rupestris. It is used, it was used, well maybe it's still used by the uh, native peoples to uh, young plants. They could dig down and eat the roots of this plant. Uh, also, the foliage is edible for at least cattle. I'm not sure, I haven't really tried it myself. I feel like a, a cow sometimes. More like a bull, I feel like a bull. I think bulls will be able to eat this fine just like a cow would. Anyway, cattle, bulls, cattle, cows, all the same thing, right? So uh, they can eat that. Now, in extreme drought, the farmers will just cut the whole entire tree down and let the cattle eat the tree or the leaves of the tree. And uh, farmers have been known to leave this tree intact in environments that they are clearing. Sad thing that they're clearing it. It's a terrible thing. <laughs> Clear a beautiful forest so you can grow some meat. Uh, but anyway, they, uh, when they clear the forest, they leave this tree in place, which is kind of cool because then you have a cleared forest and a whole bunch of these trees that stick up. And the reason they leave it there, not because they love trees, sadly. <laughs> That's the reason they should leave it there. But they leave it there because during a drought, they can simply cut the tree down 
and feed their cattle. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? But anyway, I thought I'd let you know. So there you go, Brachychiton, Astrofolius, the Queensland bottle tree. You buy one of these trees, you'll never have to use your hose again. Things gonna survive. Well, you have to use it for maybe like a year or two until it gets established. Then super drought tolerant, no problem. And then it'll start flirting with you like this one flirts with me every day I walk by it. Not many people flirt with me anymore, so I kind of like this tree a lot. I'm gonna go give it a kiss. Here we go. Uh, hi, how are you? <laughs> yeah, you're kind of cute. Can I kiss you just a little? She didn't hit me. <laughs> I'm doing good.